previously on The Search for the Next Doll. Sicily struggled with the song that was perfectly suited for her. You should shine brighter than everybody in this competition. It's not easy. And Jamie hoped the new makeover would help her confidence. Saved out, blonde, hot. I have my new look. And I think my confidence will come out in my singing. But in the end, it was Jamie and Cicely who faced off in the elimination performance. Jamie, I'm sorry. You will not be the next Pussycat Doll. Seven girls remain. Find out who will be eliminated tonight. Early mornings, long rehearsal, and 24-hour commitment. Like Don't me. dance like this. You're out of here. Now the competition really begins. Don't you. I couldn't sleep, considering what happened last night. Sicily, the whole first verse, you were off with the drums, the timing was whack. Like, they had a lot to say to me for nothing, for, like, just my, singing my song. You know what? You're still here, and that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. Oh, my jealousy. <laughs> my jealousy. My body. Growing up, I always felt like the outcast, and I never thought, like, I fit in with things. And to be kind of accepted now, I've become more confident in myself and more strong. I don't want this to end. I mean, I, I want to see what's next. I want to keep going. So what's going on with the other girls? Honestly, I really see, like, Asia making it to the final two. I don't know. My only thing is, do you think she could do it from being, like, away from her baby? Mm -mm. Once I have a baby, that's it. Coming into the house, you know, I made a decision to um, stay quiet and stay to myself to avoid problems with girls because I know how girls are. Oh, you bitches. Like, they're always going to start drama and, you know, gossip and stuff like that. And I feel that in this house, I will not have time to tolerate that, you know, because I'm not going to let any of these girls stand in the way of me, you know, following my dream. You guys, there's a play me sign. You guys, come on. We have a message. Okay, you've made it this far, ladies, but you still have a long way to go. You know, creativity is a huge part of what we do. So if you can't be creative, you can't be a pussycat doll. But I also think that you can be creative in what you do with your performance. It's not just about the steps, and it's not just about the notes in the song. It's about the life that you bring to them. It's all about being a unique individual. All right, girls, Robin is waiting for you. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. I was really excited about the theme for the week, creativity. I have not yet even showed what I'm really capable of. All right, here we go. Hi, girls. I have invited someone here today to speak to you about creativity. Carmeet. talk about like creativity mm -hmm. you know for me it's always something funky and edgy and I like to push the limits so that's what it takes to be a pussycat doll is <laughs> taking all of that stuff that you've learned all your life and, and just mixing it up like your gymnastic training I mean I competed for almost nine and a half years went to world championships and placed fifth at Olympic trials it definitely gave me an edge and an advantage when I came into the dance industry and it really helped pave the way for car me to be unique and creative and you know it helped uh, her audience look at her like she was such an individual. Thanks. Carmi was teaching us about being creative but being unique at the same time. Each of the girls are teaching us like a certain thing and we're seriously taking that in and finding that in our doll. Good luck with everything. It's been a pleasure being here with you guys today. Have a great time. girls. Now it's time for song assignments and this week we're doing something different. I'm going to pick two team captains to lead each group. One group of three and one group of four. The group that gives the weakest performance, one of those members will go home. 
The first girl that I want to pick is Chelsea. Chelsea, I would like to see you step up and do something you may have never done before. Be a leader. I'm a little worried because I'm not the kind of person where I'm like, you know, totally taking charge. So the next girl that I chose was Asia. So Asia, I want to see you be more open and not afraid to express. I don't want to be a leader because if my group does struggle and do bad, I don't want that, you know, put on me. So, Asia, you can have the first pick. I would like to choose Melissa R. I basically picked the girls who I thought um, were the strongest. Chelsea? I would choose Anastasia. I didn't pick my group based on, like, strategy or trying to, you know, pick the best dancer or the best singer. I just kind of picked the people I want to get to know better. All right. <laughs> I would like to choose Melissa R. Okay. I would like Maddie. I haven't worked with you yet. Okay. You got your three. I don't know why I got left at the end, but maybe it's because Asia doesn't like me. The little girls in the big yeah, no. So girls, we are focusing on one of the most creative eras in terms of music, dance, and fashion. And this week, you'll have to show your own personal creativity while performing songs from the disco era. <laughs> Your group will be singing Shame. <laughs> Next group, you girls will be singing Don't Leave Me This Way. <laughs> so crazy. All right, the stakes are getting higher and higher. So remember, girls, you only have three short days to master these songs. You got it? All right, then work it out. Yeah. Yeah, I was curious to see if, if the bridge would be good for you, but I think you can do the bridge there. All right. What's the bridge? We know that whoever's the weakest group is someone in that group is going to be going home. Chelsea is the leader of the group, and I just get worried about her abilities to lead. And I just hope that she can give it her all and that this group will prevail. So why should I be ashamed? Only love can be to play. So you take the first one, and you take the one going out. Okay. I'm gonna leave you guys alone to work on this. <laughs> okay. Give me a second, Jenny. All right, uh, let's try with the track, shall we? Yeah. Wrapped in your arms is where I wanna be. I wanna be. You guys gotta be like, wrapped in your arms, yeah. you know, it's get it out of me. me. So you can off. We're one person less. I mean, they got four people. So, I mean, we need to go. You know yeah. what? We know there's only three of us, but we got this. Enough chit chat. You want to do it with the music? Oh, my Very good. I'm pleased. He's free. Oh, we got a lot of work to do. Leader? Who's the leader of this group? Asia. You're too tired to be the leader. Yeah. Can't sing like this. I just can't. Maybe we should just practice with it, just mark it, because then our energy be up more. No. Asia's more of a quiet type, and she didn't really take on that challenge of being leader as much as I could have. We did it once together, and then yeah, let's get a there. really great. Come on, leader of the group, wake up. Excuse me, I do a good job leaning, don't I, ladies? Nobody said anything. <laughs> Is she, is she doing a good job of leading? Honestly. Well, we haven't really done anything to show her leadership. Because you've been sleeping all the time. Oh, well, that, that's not good lead. I'm not scared to be a leader. I didn't want to portray the image of being, you know, the mean girl all the time. Because I didn't want to feel tension around me. It's going to get serious. It's going to get more serious all the time. Yeah, and it's the same deal as last week. The weakest person out of the weakest group is going home. It can't be a weak group. Come on. I don't bring that sexiness. I bring the more cutesy, like girl next door. And it's hard for me to like be like sexy, like I don't know. But Asia, you're just very flowy. Like anything you do, I feel like it extends and goes on forever. You are amazing in my eyes. Thanks. Dude, Asia dances like drag queen. You know?
Cicely said a little comment. I'm thinking in the back of my head, I'm going to knock this girl out right now. I was performing with someone who was getting on my nerves and it definitely started eating me up inside. Asia, what's going on with you? But it's okay. Everybody's two colors are showing. I'm starting to notice little things that are going on, talking about people and stuff like that. I'm not that type of person. And if you say something stupid about me, just like she did today, I'm going to ignore you. I was telling her, you know, how she has a hard edge. It sounds, no, this it is sounds, her, her words. It sounds, that I dance like a drag queen. Oh, you said that about her? I told her that I think that she could be more feminine with it. I feel that if I build up tension around me, it's going to block me from whatever I'm doing. It's better for me in pressure like this just to close everybody out. I'm looking for a girl who is not afraid just to be open and to be who she really is. Seriously, like, I know how girls are. I went through high school my first two years with girls hating on me, like, all my life. Life isn't to totally peachy. It just gets me mad because it doesn't change. I wasn't saying anything bad about anyone. Like, I had nothing bad to say about anyone. Asia, I think you've come into this competition scared, but I just want you to know that it's okay to to be able to just express yourself. Because these girls right here are absolutely not afraid of it, the, the pussycat dolls. look really good in this. I don't have a lot to say about this. This is definitely a different vibe than the other group. Asia's team isn't really getting along. They're fighting and they're not really concentrating on the performance and I think that's kind of good for my team because we are focused. Shane! Yep, that's it. before we go to bed to get in a little circle and talk. Yeah. Can we come in the living room? You want to do circle time? Yeah. I'm sure that the rest of the girls felt, you know, I was quiet and to myself and they didn't really know me and I wanted to be straight up with the rest of the girls. When I came into this competition, I'm telling you, I was like, there is going to be drama. And I was like, I cannot deal with that. Like, you know, that's your, like, first off, thought about everything, like there's going to be drama, then you're going to want to make drama. No. Um, why don't you just not care what, who, how other people were? I feel my biggest fear is fighting. I fought my whole life, and I feel if someone says something to me, I'm, I'm going to go ballistic. Do you have a past that you've been like this? Like, if anger? people say, like, you, you dance like a drag queen, are you going to go hit them? Like, what? what is it? Like, I had to go to court for fighting and stuff like that. I mean, but I feel that I'm, that's not me. I'm not a fighting person. I only fought because I had to. Because, you know, like, in my, my freshman year of high school, we're all adults now. This is not high school anymore. And I think that right now what's going on, like, is being thrown into a situation that you haven't had to necessarily deal very closely with girls. No secrets, no talking behind no. each other's back. That really gets annoying. I'm kind of irritated by this situation right now. And it's also hard being, like, the oldest and, and having, like, a circle conversation where I feel like I've already been through this with girls. Here, it's just like, you can't do this, you can't say that. You know, like, it's just <laughs> dumb, dumb, dumb. I feel like it's dumb down. I feel really dumb right now. It's so stupid. It just feels so stupid. Because I don't feel like anybody here has the same interests as like it's just like hitting a wall. I just feel like it's stupid. <laughs> All right, 
You girls were not very good yesterday, so I really need you to step it up today. I need right. for your vocals to be okay. tight here. All right, so let's try with the singing. Five, six, seven, eight. So come on down. As a team leader, you know, I, I wanted to set an example and show that I could put drama behind me and that I was strong. Oh, baby! So much better. Do you want drama free? Just yes. do it like that for now, because if we don't get our riffs right, then it's not going to sound right. right. But yeah, we're stronger, stronger when we do it like that. I think the fact that Asia opened up, she got more confidence, and now she is very different. We might just have to hit that last note, like, set me free! Well, I think that little part doesn't really matter because we're coming together. Yeah, like, oh, baby. It's just the note. Set me free, set me free! I just think it's so much better like that. Okay, let's try it again. Make this one hot. You started this fire down in my soul. Sisley, I still feel like I need more. Okay. Because you got girls here, they're all working it, you know, and, and like I'm not saying you need to look like them, but just just put more in. And I know you I know you have it in you. Sisley was, you know, losing focus. I think, you know, she was dealing with her personal emotions and I think it was definitely showing. I wanted to see who you are. How does a song make you feel? It's getting more intense, it's getting Harder competition, the songs are getting harder. I'm just trying to get the song down. That's why you're here, because of who you are. Ooh, you look hot, Sicily. Girls, I need you ready and dressed. Be downstairs in 30 minutes. And dress sexy. Hi. Hi. Looking hot. I know that you've been working really hard on your songs, but I hope today that you're feeling a little bit more creative because I've invited someone who will talk to you about being creative, but this time with a sexy flavor. Ashley. <laughs> you guys a little bit on being sexy. Um, I think it's something that definitely has to be natural. Inside, every woman is a pussycat doll. Okay, so for this week's challenge, you will each have to show us your creative, sexy side, and you will have to put together a dance routine, and whoever does the best in this challenge cannot be eliminated in this week's final performance. I hope I can rise to the challenge, because after last week, I have to be safe this week from elimination. But... You will not be doing this challenge alone. Boys! We haven't seen guys in forever. Like, it was just good to get a little mix up in the place. Hello, ladies. Robin, it's about time. Girls, you've been cooped up for way too long. To teach your partner your own choreography and the most creative and sexiest dance wins the challenge. It worries me because I don't deal good with like the whole trying to be like sexy. You guys have one hour to make this happen and I'll see you back here. Okay, so we start like looking down and I think that, you know, they've labeled me like the girl next door. I just feel like I need to show them, you know, there's a sassier side to me. <laughs> From here, kick, turn, and uh. As far as the chemistry goes, we were very connected, we were very sensual, but in a classy, beautiful way. <laughs> I enjoyed working with him. He was very good eye candy. You are so hot. <laughs> you want to go for you? Then stop, come up. You want me to dance? And then... I'm the weakest link in dancing out of all these girls. I have to prove that I can be the performer that Robin and Mikey want. You can do this! I have faith! <laughs> Maybe I go put my feet together. Um, and you totally, like, death dropped me, but you got to hold me. 
You know what I mean? The challenge is way more important to me. So I put a lot of effort into my choreography. It wasn't just about sex. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Come on! I can do that to you! Okay, all right. All right! when she dances it's her expression it's her face she puts her everything into it when she dances and it's absolutely just like water just like so fluid the choreography was really great really interesting okay Anastasia and Sean is getting a little heated, like hot. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> it was sexy. I mean, I think it was um, maybe like not as creative, but it was cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Asia and Nick. Asia was like more like hard, you know, New York style hip hop, but she still danced like drag queen. that I was sexy and I think up there in this my little bra and my jeans I think was a big step for me. <laughs> I thought it was a little boring. <laughs> but I think you guys make a cute couple and you should go on a I date. Okay. Melissa R and Chris. She's a little flirt. And I saw her, she was like bending back. I was just like, oh my God. I am mean, thinking I was like, she's gonna win. You it's like you guys really thought about it. I mean, you didn't have a lot of time. And that was it was creative. It was. Mariella and black. When well, people think sexuality, they just think sex. They think showing skin and they think just, you know grinding. It's not about that. I think it's about the connection, you know? Mariela had the most beautiful dance. I would have never done anything like that. It was so beautiful. Your body and the way that you move, it's incredible yeah. to watch. I mean, it really is. Chelsea and Duan, please. Chelsea shocked me the most <laughs> because Chelsea's not a dancer. She's not a sexual person. She looks like she'll be more to herself. And he came in and kissed, and I was just kind of like, oh, God, my dad's going to kill me. <laughs> and I was like, this is so bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> Kind of gather in. So, the person with the sexiest and most creative choreography is you, Mariella. You show the most creativity and passion, and you made us believe you. We really had a chemistry together, and I really think that we brought a passion to our dance that the other girls didn't really have with their partner. So, Mariela, you cannot be eliminated in tomorrow night's performance, so congratulations. Yay. I'm really disappointed that I didn't win the challenge. That just means I have to work harder for this performance. I tried to show everyone that I was sexy, and I think that I wasn't the sexy that everyone else was, but, you know, I was sexy in my own right.
performance day definitely has more pressure than another day. Your whole self, your mind, it just involves everything. Quick mic check, please. Quick mic check. Don't leave me this way. I want what's out of control and the parts you do together in the courses. Da -na -na. Is that for you? Oh, baby. Great. We're going to do it again. Great. All right. Much better, girls. Way better than the other rehearsals. <laughs> yeah. After the sound check, I definitely felt more confident. Like, okay, we're pulling it together, and hopefully, you know, we'll have a good show. Don't say it ever. Wraps in your arms. That's my heart. That's my heart. Shame. I don't think I brought my hand down, so, like, at the same time. I just think you just need to step on it. No. It's really if you get it the, if you do the other side, uh, that's weird. Girls, what happened? I, I don't get it. You had the choreography and now you lost it. Mariella, she's already in the safe zone because after our challenge, she has nothing to worry about. She's staying here. But me and Anastasia, you know, gotta really work our butts off because the weakest group has one person going home. Everybody's consistently flat. Uh -huh. Oh, shoot. Okay. There in the room. Yeah. 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 Oh, God. You were doing it pretty good yesterday. You had it learned. Basically, our sound check sucked. Like, the tone isn't there. The sound isn't there. The morale is definitely not there. I'm really stressed out right now. Ooh, I wouldn't want to live with the pain. Yeah, you gotta come out stronger in your line. I know my group were having struggles, but, you know, as the leader, I was trying to keep everybody confident and keep their optimism up. It's not coming in strong enough. Because you're going, oh, no, no, can be. Because he told me, he was like, he So, Chelsea, Anastasia, you heard Asia's group? Yeah. It's pretty damn good, right? Yeah. Y'all gotta step up. Yeah, we do. You know, based on sound check, they already won. What I know. All right. everybody. Welcome back to the Pussycat Dolls Lounge. I'm your host, Mark McGrath. Welcome, ladies. Nice to see you guys. All right, girls, the seven of you perform in two groups. The group who gives the weakest performance, one of you guys will be eliminated. So good luck to you all. Let's get it started by saying hello to our fine panel of judges. First up is your mentor and fearless leader. She's the creator and visionary of the Pussycat Dolls, Robin Anton. Also with us is the chairman of Geffen Records and a Grammy-winning producer, Mr. Ron Fair. Also here is one of the most successful female musical performers in history, Lil' Kim. Welcome, judges. Do you have any words for the ladies here tonight? Girls. Remember, this week's theme is creativity. So take everything you've learned and make it your own to prove you have what it takes to be a pussycat doll. Ladies, tonight, dig deep, find your sense of self-possession, be fearless, and have fun. All right, girls, good luck to you all. Performing Shame, here's group number one featuring Chelsea, Mariella, and Anastasia.
What do you think of group one? That was hot, girls. That was that. Just three girls, you definitely look like a dream girl, supreme girl, and that's very important to definitely have a look. These disco songs really require chops as a singer, yeah. and you can't fake it, yeah. and Chelsea really nailed it that strongly. Yeah, you are doing a great job with the dancing. It's incredible that you are picking up the choreography as fast as you are and working it. I thought when Anastasia came with it, she has that sound that is something that recording artists have to have. They can't just have a generic voice. Yeah. <laughs> but what about Mariella? What did you think? I love legs and the pussycat doll, so you got something really going for you, girl. The tone was off, your tone, and it was very noticeable. Thank you, judges. Give it up for the very hot group number one. Performing Don't Leave Me This Way, group number two with Asia, Melissa R, Cicely, and Melissa S. Judges, Robin, what'd you think of group two? Girls, you really were not performing together as a group. There was a couple of, you know, out of sync feather boa moments. And you love feather boas. I do. I, I have my own pink one at home. <laughs> but uh, I thought your harmonies were pretty much okay. It wasn't great. Melissa S., I felt that you are stepping it up in terms of feeling sexy. But you have a long way to go, and tonight you did not prove to me that you can get there. Melissa R., I saw you dropped your boa. A little messy. You know, I don't think you were inside the attitude. Maybe because you guys are too young to, to know where this really came from. Well, Asia, I mean, I felt like you were a star tonight, honestly. I mean, I think that... This is definitely the most beautiful that I've seen you. You have a really strong sense of self-possession. When you emanate power, it brings eyeballs and audience right, to yeah. you. It's about letting go. I mean, that's what we've been talking about all week, about letting go. Cicely, I think that your vocal, it was different because you're different, but I'm just not quite sure that it worked in this piece. Um, you, you had your little moment at the pole over there. It kind of was like, you know, what's Debbie Harry doing in this group? You know, just very strange and sort of unusual. You're so unique and you're so great. It's just a matter of can you be versatile and just go into different areas. All right. All right, girls. I mean, I tried to show her that I was sexy. 
I wish I was, you know, getting a little more praise, but I don't know if I know what they're looking for. I think we all should be nervous, but Cecily more because last week wasn't a good week for her, and then this week, you know, it wasn't like any better. I don't know if it's like the hair and the shoes and just everything distracting me, but I really don't feel like I did my best. I think that group one was more together than group two, and they looked more like a group. Group two didn't feel as connected to me. Mm -hmm. It was just, just like four individuals going through the choreography, but I didn't feel that sense of fun and connection and belonging that the minute group one got into formation, they were inside it right off the bat. And they sounded a little better. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Okay, so group one was a stronger group. Let's go straight to group two. Let's start with Melissa R. What do we think of her? I think that she has a lot of potential. She just has this sort of deer in headlights thing that she has to overcome. <laughs> wow. She loses her juice. Yeah, she's but just she's scared. She's yeah, she's young. What about Asia? You know, Cicely said she danced like a drag queen. Drag queens are hot. They're like yeah. dancing and they're like owning it. And she owns it. And yeah, I'm not going to lie. I absolutely love her. Lo yes, I and I'm not all the way there with her. My, my read, she doesn't exude warmth. Yeah. But Ron, that's why I picked Asia as a leader. I thought this would be a great challenge for her. What about Cicely? I've been struggling with Cicely. I think she's a unique individual. I love seeing her you know, do her own thing. You almost want to see her, you know, at a rock concert. Are you being very gracious? I you just don't. I just don't love seeing her. No, Ron, honestly, I feel that she has something interesting. I really do. Otherwise, she wouldn't be here. What about Melissa S? I think she's coming out of her little shell. Mm -hmm. She's moving slow, though. She's so adorable. Yeah, she's girl she's next so door. I know she's improved. I don't know that she belongs in a mega sexy girl group. Right. I just I always want to give her that chance because I feel like there's something special in there. We're not in the business of giving chances. Like, we've got to be really judicious and hold our standard very high, you know, putting somebody into this group. And she's that stand next to Nicole and, and the pussy adults and Kim. I mean, you know, and, no. I think it was really close. All right, so I think we made our decision. All right, girls, it's that time again. The judges have made their decision. Now, Mariella, you won the creativity challenge. You cannot be eliminated tonight. Robin, if you please. For the girl who ends up going home tonight, I hope that you will take everything you've learned here and carry it with you wherever you go. Now for the hard part. Group one. Congratulations, you've made it to the next round. You are safe tonight. Now for group two. Congratulations. Melissa R, you are moving to the next round. Congratulations. Asia, you are moving to the next round. Melissa S and Cicely, our decision came down to the two of you. Cicely, you are just an incredibly unique individual. It's so amazing to watch you do your thing. But I don't know if it works for a group or against a group. Melissa S., you've worked really hard on finding sexy Melissa. But to be a pussycat doll, being sexy is something that has to come from within. And I'm just not sure you're there yet. So, Melissa S., congratulations, you are moving to the next round. Thank you. Cicely, I'm sorry. You will not be the next Pussycat Doll.
It's time to hang up your boa. I went up there and I just like, I didn't do my best. Like when I opened my mouth to sing, I was just like, oh no, what's happening here? So I just wish I could have stayed longer so I could show not only them, but like the country more of what I can do. I don't know what they're gonna do without me, I'm serious. <laughs> Next week on The Search for the Next Doll. Girls, I booked you a show in Las Vegas. The girls pack their bags for a road trip to Sin City. Hey, Ma! But the competition starts to eat away at Anastasia. Anastasia lately has been trying to watch her figure, and then if a dessert pops out right in front of her, she's got to have it. Go, I'm pink. And Asia takes out her frustrations on the other girls. I didn't catch her, so she got off of me. 